Welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom, your go-to channel for fascinating insights into the natural world. Today, we're diving into the world of a unique bird species, the Eurasian coot. The Eurasian coot, also known as the common coot or Australian coot, is a member of the rail and crake bird family, the Ralidae. This bird is a true cosmopolitan, found in Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and parts of North Africa. With its slaty black body, glossy black head, and distinctive white bill with a frontal shield, the Eurasian coot is a sight to behold. But there's more to this bird than meets the eye. It's a distinctive stocky water bird that can be seen swimming on open water or walking across grass fields. In this video, we'll explore the life of the Eurasian coot, its habitat, behavior, and the unique adaptations that make it a marvel of the avian world. So, sit back, relax, and join us on this exciting journey into the world of the Eurasian coot. Meet the Eurasian coot, Hulika Atra, a charming member of the rail and crake bird family, the Ralidae. This captivating creature, also known as the common coot or Australian coot, graces the landscapes of Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and parts of North Africa with its presence. Its body, a canvas of slaty black, is complemented by a glossy black head, creating a striking contrast with its white bill and frontal shield. This delightful bird doesn't believe in gender-based fashion, both sexes sport similar looks. Interestingly, the world is home to a variety of coot species that bear a resemblance to our Eurasian coot, with South America boasting the largest diversity. The Eura Eurasian coot was first introduced to the world by the renowned Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus in 1758, under its current binomial name, Fulica Atra. The name is a tribute to its appearance, with Fulica meaning coot, and Atra translating to black in Latin. This bird is a compact bundle of energy, measuring 36 to 38 centimeters in length with a wingspan of 70 to 80 centimeters, males tip the scales at around 890 g, while females are a tad lighter at 750 g. The coot's distinctive white bill and frontal shield have inspired the phrase, as bald as a coot, which has been in use since as early as 1430. As a swimming species, the coot has partial webbing on its long, strong toes, further enhancing its aquatic abilities. The juvenile Eurasian coot, with its paler complexion and whitish breast, is a sight to behold. It lacks the facial shield of the adults, and its black plumage only develops when it's about three to four months old. However, the white shield takes its time, only fully developing when the bird is about a year old. The Eurasian coot is a vocal artist, with a wide repertoire of crackling, explosive, or trumpeting calls that it often performs at night. It breeds across much of the old world on freshwater lakes and ponds. Like its relative, the common moorhen, it has adapted well to urban environments and can often be found in parks and gardens with access to water. The Eurasian coot is an adventurous traveler, migrating further south and west from much of Asia in winter as the waters freeze. It has recently expanded its range into New Zealand and is known to occur as a vagrant in North America. Unlike, unlike most of the rail family, the Eurasian coot is not one for secrets. It can be seen swimming on open water or walking across waterside grasslands. It is an aggressive species, strongly territorial during the breeding season, with both parents involved in territorial defense. During the non-breeding season, they may form large flocks, possibly as a strategy for predator avoidance. The Eurasian coot is a reluctant flyer. When taking off, it runs across the water surface with much splashing. It does the same, but without actually flying, when traveling a short distance at speed in territorial disputes or on land to escape from intruders. Despite its weak flight, it can cover surprisingly large distances on migration, usually at night. It bobs its head as it swims and makes short dives from a little jump. When it comes to defending its territory, the Eurasian coot is a formidable opponent. It charges at other water birds, especially other coots, striking them with its long legs. This fascinating bird truly is a marvel of nature, captivating all who are lucky enough to witness its charm. In a world where water meets land, a bulky yet elegant structure emerges. This is no ordinary structure, it's a nest, a home, a sanctuary. It floats gracefully on the water or nestles in the shallow depths, perched on a low stump or log, forming a neat, large bowl. Crafted with love and care, it's a tapestry of plant stems and leaves, lined with the finest materials nature has to offer. While often hidden in the lush embrace of vegetation, sometimes, it dares to sit in the open, a testament to the resilience of life. 
This nest is a labor of love, built by both parents. The male, the gatherer, collects most of the materials, while the female, the architect, weaves them into their home. The miracle of life begins with the laying of eggs, each day bringing in a new addition. The clutch, a treasure trove of six to ten smooth, slightly glossy eggs, each a beautiful shade of buff, speckled with black or dark brown spots. These tiny wonders, averaging 53 mm x 36 mm and weighing a mere 38 g, are the promise of life to come. The incubation is a shared responsibility, beginning after the second egg is laid, and lasting for 21 to 24 days. Then, the miracle unfolds. The chicks hatch, precocial and ready to face the world. Adorned in a downy black coat, they are a sight to behold. Their bodies are tipped with yellow hair like down, while their heads, napes, and throats sport longer, orange-red tips. Between their eyes and on their lores, the tips blaze a fiery red. Their shields are a bright red, and their bills a contrasting red with a white tip. The first few days of their lives are spent under the warm brood of the female, while the male brings food and builds platforms for roosting and brooding. As they leave the nest, the brood may split up, each parent taking care of a separate group. By 30 days, they are able to feed themselves, and by 55 to 60 days, they take their first flight. Eurasian coots usually have a single brood each year, but in some areas, such as Britain, they sometimes attempt a second brood. They begin this incredible journey of parenthood when they are one to two years old. Life, however, is not without its challenges. Chick mortality is a harsh reality, often due to starvation rather than predation. The first 10 days after hatching are the most critical, when they are most dependent on adults for food. Under pressure, such as lack of food, coots can be harsh to their young. They will nip at the young ones begging for food until they stop. If the begging continues, they may nip so hard that the chick is killed. In times of environmental stress or physical limitations, coots will also lay their eggs in the nests of others, a testament to their will to survive and thrive. This is the remarkable and fascinating tale of the Eurasian coots, a testament to the resilience, beauty, and complexity of nature. It's a story of survival, of love, and of the unyielding will to carry on, against all odds. It's a story that reminds us of the adorable, remarkable, and fascinating world we are a part of. It's a story that needs to be told, and remembered. It's the story of life itself. And that brings us to the end of our journey with the Eurasian coot. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the life of this fascinating bird. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. For more enlightening videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Spectrum of Wisdom, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. Remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and we're here to explore them together. Until next time, keep the flame of curiosity burning bright. This is Spectrum of Wisdom, signing off.